that lifestyle element was just something personally we wanted to have. Like we grew up in the 70s and 80s and watched skateboarding and surfing transition from slacker hobbies into professions. It was obvious to us the same thing was gonna happen with esports. We loved sitting on Twitch. It was a great way for us to work, but also do something really fun at the same time. <laughs> it, was, it was new and it was young and it was like where all of the energy was. And so we really wanted to be like, how do we support this in an authentic way? And so what we did was we looked for people who were wearing Astros, people who are already our fans. And we, were, you know, we reached out to them and said, we want to help you build your channel by giving you headsets and just doing these things that would help build these streamers and kind of build this family. We were kind of putting this thing together where we could have so much deeper interaction with our community. We're here to improve the sport of gaming, whether it's through products or creating new experiences. Our stream team is definitely a very big part of our yeah. community this year. We started it a couple years ago and it's a group of our influencers and producers who create content on Twitch and YouTube. And uh, you know, this last year we've actually added a streaming stage to our PAX booth. And so we're trying to do a lot more incorporation of, you know, bringing the community and the stream and our products together. The community really likes to rally around their champions, the people that they find influential, who, who make a difference to them. Optic and Envious, you know, these are the two big teams that we've been working with a lot. They've definitely helped us bring more people into the Astro family. This year we really want to increase the usability and the accessibility of the blog. We want it to be a hub of content and resources and news for our fans who experience Astro. We tell stories with our partners, we tell stories with esports, we tell stories with our community. Pretty much everything that we find is an authentic expression of who we are as a company. Blogs give us a place to really kind of reach out to people in more of an expanded way, right? Like so in 140 characters or just with a couple pictures on Instagram or Snapchat where it's going to disappear after a short amount of time, doesn't really get, give us the ability to reach out to our fans and, and kind of really tell them the story of what we're trying to do and communicate really well with them. So the blog, the launch of the new blog really allows us to have this central place where it all lives that people can come back and find out about it. We're killing it in the US, Canada, Australia, UK, in the non-English speaking countries. We have a lot of work to do and that's a big part of the world. The short term focus is replicating our success, particularly in the community and grassroots side of things that we've done in the English speaking world and all the other countries. The Seventh Letter is like an art collaborative down and out of LA. Our new tags with them are really fun and it's something that kind of changes the style of your A40s and your A38s in a way that's not tied to a single game or an IP. So it's not like when that game you know isn't popular anymore, you get rid of your tags. It's just, they look really cool. They have a really great vibe and a feel to it. We really like working with that group. We've got the new TR and mod kits. Those are just amazing. The designers and engineers made something that was just perfect for any environment from your living room to an eSport event in a huge arena. They are like the perfect headset now. And I think this year I like to call it the year of the speaker tag. Our uh, customizer has been completely revamped and you have the option to go in there and really personalize your headset, make it your own. It's really easy for us to take our product to a community and be like, you guys should see this because that's what we feel about it. Our back Backpacks, our apparel. There's nothing here that we aren't all bought into. Without the fans, we can't sell anything, but without the guys making the really awesome products, we have nothing to sell. And the lifestyle aspect, it is the long term play. I know there's no like revenue goals tied to it either. It's just how do we be consistently authentic to gaming and we want to develop products that support that. So, audio domination is still in the plan for us. We have some projects underway just to take cost and price out of the equation and see what we can come up with.